Hello, I'm now going to do some practice least common multiple problems for you. Uh, after I do a couple of these problems, you should be able to go to the least common multiple module and, and do some of them yourselves. So let's start with one. Let's say the least common multiple of 10 and 8. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do a least common multiple problem. Um, one I call just the brute force method, and I think it's good because it'll give you a good sense of what least common multiple is, and then I'll also show you what I call the more elegant method. So the, the, the brute force method is literally just to write out all the multiples of the two numbers and figure out what the least common multiple they have is. So let's write all the multiples of 10. So 10 times 1 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, Whoops, not 67, 70, 80, 90, 100, and so on. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 64, 72, 80, and so on. So let's see. Let's see if we can identify what the common multiples are. Well, immediately I see that 10 times 4 is 40, and 8 times 5 is also 40. So that's a common multiple. If we keep going, uh, we see 10 times 8 is 80, and, 10 and 8 times 10 is also 80. And if we were to keep going, we would also see that 120 is a common multiple. We'd see that 160 is a common multiple. But out of the ones we listed, 40 and 80 are, are common multiples. And if we were to ask, what is the least common multiple? Well, 40 is lower than 80, so we say, 40 is the least common multiple. Now that's what I call the brute force method. Now the, what I would say the elegant method is, is what you, what you do is you, you look at the factors of 10. And you say, well, the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. You say, what's the greatest common factor of the two numbers? Well, they, they, they all share the common factor 1. All, every integer shares that, that common factor. Uh, but the number 2, they both share that common factor. So what we can say is, is that the least common multiple of 10 and 8, and this is the elegant way, and it might not be obvious to you why it works, and, and I, I might do another module with you to show you why this works. But the least common multiple of two numbers is always equal to the two numbers, 8 times 10. And the dot is just another fancy way of writing times. 8 times 10. And then you divide that by the greatest common factor of 8 and 10. Well, 8 times 10 is 80. And the greatest common factor of 8 and 10, well, we just figure that out. That's 2. So that equals 40. In general, I like my, in my head, and you'll learn to do the, these problems in your head, I tend to do it this, this first way. I don't figure out what the greatest common factor is, and then I multiply the numbers and divide them. Because for smaller numbers like 8 or 10 or 2 and 3, it's pretty easy to just think about the multiples and figure out the least common multiple. But if you had really large numbers, or if you're writing a computer program that, um, that had to deal with arbitrary numbers, then you'd probably want to use the second method. And if you're ever in doubt, the second method it always works just to make sure you haven't uh, overlooked some numbers in, in using the, the method on the left.